Good morning, you too. It's been a while since I've been back, you know. I ain't really made no videos for you guys. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of footage on, on for you guys today. Um, solo today by myself. But uh, I mean, that don't matter. Um, lately, I had the wife out here with me. But uh, I got a lot of people asking me where I've been, what I've been doing. So y'all just bear with me. I'm going to try to get y'all the best angle. And just let y'all see what, what I got going on out here. All right, stay, stay tuned. I'm going to uh, show you guys while I pull some of these traps. So you guys are about to witness. guys about to witness me pull my longest row out here and the crazy thing is I'm giving you a trapped view of the crab so let's see how this footage turns out um but it's gonna be my longest row I don't know which way I'm supposed to be starting from the water's crazy right now my most inside row this row usually does pretty good so let's see guys issue with the grass growing so bad now it's dying look like it's just drifting blowing around at the bottom drifting around I should I say one big stink shot Thank you. 
fight with these traps, so I'm gonna go all the way down and pull coming back. Just to stop when I get. Bob 
probably this area probably has been doing the best out of all the areas I've been crashed, out of all the couple areas I have out here. This is probably the better area. Um, but you can see it's filling up with traffic really fast. So, which I don't have a problem with. What's for me is what's for me. I don't care how many traps are out here. If it's meant for me, I'll get it. If it's not meant for me, I won't get it. So, you know, what's meant for me is meant for me. I, I'm not that, I'm not that crabber that be like, oh, don't tell such and such, or it ain't a, too many traps over here, and this and that. Nah, I fished, I fished right beside people and caught fish and they ain't caught none. So I'm a firm believer in that. What's meant for me is meant for me. No man can't stop what's meant for you. So as long as as long as these guys come and they drop their traps and they give me an air enough space to turn my boat around, where I ain't gotta be I where I ain't gotta be taking my boat out of gear so I don't cut off their stuff. I, I won't run nobody trap up. I won't cut nobody stuff off. Being in this business, you know just how much it costs. So I'm not, I'm not in here to, I'm not in business to hurt the next man's pocket. It's a big one, good, boy. Pretty much all number one was keeping. It was a, she was a pillar. She had started shedding prematurely. Her top came off. She may survive, may not, but. Big males right here, man. This is, this is what you're looking for. Look at that, look at that belly on that thing. Look how rusty that belly is, man. That's what you're looking for. I'm trying to get this flounder out of here. I try not to shake them in the box because it's a pain to get them out. You gotta have flounder grip. But that trap right there had looked like about three big number ones. I was separating them, but I ain't. I'm by myself today, so I ain't really got time for it. y'all some footage of pulling traps. I don't really, I know y'all don't really care too much about all the talking and stuff. This is what people want to see. They want to see that trap. This is a female that shed it right here. She's paper shell, but I don't think she came out of that shell. The one at the bottom came out of the shell. She's soft shell. She's good eating. She came out of that shell. And I just threw in the water earlier. That male was hugged up with her, protecting her, so. All right, I'm gonna have to speed up. I'm gonna be out here to eat.
try not to make these videos too long. So that portion where I'm just riding, I'll probably cut that portion out. So you guys can just get raw footage. So... 